In today's video, we are in Woodbury Commons. Now I need a new deli because I'm done with my deli. Okay, so I'm done. You get hit with like this feeling of like, okay, I could just make it here another week and then I could get to like traveling and do my whole thing again. Or it's 55, 70. I'm just gonna fast forward you guys to a haul. Picking up where we left off in the last vlog, we are currently in Newburgh, New York, which is upstate, and we are heading down to go to Woodbury Commons. Okay, so we literally blinked and it was about to start pouring in the town that we were in, which was Newburgh. We tried to go to Beacon and then we crossed the bridge because there was a taco spot that came up on Yelp that I thought was in Beacon, but it was in Newburgh. After it started misting, I was like, well, we're not gonna cross over to where we see it raining on the opposite side of this because you guys saw the cliff. It looked crazy. It looked like Jurassic Park. We oh, I'm in this. sneezed, achoo and now we are in Woodbury Commons. We really wanted to go to like a small little quaint town, but we ended up in like New York City's biggest, closest outlets, <laughs> which we like it here. It's really nice. We well, and I mean, it's, we think it's gonna rain, so I changed again. I put on a hoodie and a hat, and I'm wearing my sandals, and Jordan's got a cheetah umbrella. He has his windbreaker on, because it got a little chillier out. Yeah. Um, it was Where really hot that? before. I'm wearing Adidas socks with a Nike jacket. Oh, loser. Now I guess we'll go into that store. Last time we went in really cool. I actually put a vlog up of all of Woodbury Commons, and like, it was when the Aritzia first opened up here, and like, we went in the Gucci store, the Dolce and Gabbana store, and etc. And then there's Rag and Bone over there, so maybe we could find some Gen Micha perfume. I like Gen Micha perfume so tasty. I want to go to the Converse outlet. It's gonna be exciting. This whole vlog turned into a whole different excursion, but I'm I'm glad that you guys at least got to come to the small towns with us for just a second. All right, let's shop guys. Oh my god, this is cute. Oh, they have it in white. Good morning. Last night we ended up going to our, our friend's house. It was his birthday and we were there for like hours just like playing cards and hanging out and like playing drinking games and like very like fun friendly wholesome energy but right before that you guys know we drove home our final stop on our tour of tours of stopping in different towns and doing different things was going to wawa and i got a double espresso and i just added a little bit of creamer and i drank my little espresso like a lovely sicilian man and it was great i needed that to like continue forth with the day because we were basically up for like 20 hours but it wasn't just like you're up for 20 hours it was like a non-stop 20 hours and after our friends we were gonna go to disco in the city but by the time we left our friends it was like 2 a.m and disco kind of ends like 3 15 ish and now i'm just cleaning up our stuff because we kind of came home in such a shamble and instead of like you know being normal and unpacking and just like relaxing we showered and we ran out the door and you know what i'm really sad about actually i brought so many books with me because i thought i was gonna be able to read all of these books that i brought i brought pride and prejudice which to be honest with you i'm kind of forcing myself to read this because i'm like mm, a little bit more than one fourth of the way read and it's like kind of mid it's just like not the book that like i'm necessarily really into i brought this book that i actually do want to read it's called tips for the hangman and i wanted to use my new bookmark that jordan got me bullet journal i did a lot of writing in when we were at the cabin which was really exciting for me and then this is a new journal that i just started i actually didn't get to do this jordan it's like an activity book for like you and your friends or like you and your partner and me and jordan have been trying to do some of the pages like when we travel well me and him just like pick a random page and then we'll like do the activity and it's kind of fun like this is a really fun cool thing to do especially at a cabin but you guys kind of saw and like my lack of like consistency in this vlog really goes to show like we were doing a lot and we were running around doing so many different things that when we were sitting down relaxing we actually were just like relaxing or talking or like making tea or cooking so it was a little harder to be hands-on all right so i just ran a bunch of errands and i also went to go get breakfast i went to my deli and i got just like a cheese sandwich like my usual whatever i didn't feel like having egg and i asked him five times to cut the cheese thin because like i like when the cheese is sliced thin if you're like an italian or adjacent to like new york city like brooklyn like you eat your cold cuts like thin sliced like you want them paper thin it's just like the way that it's always been and like the way that i eat my food and they know that like everyone knows that this is it's not like a very random request here they gave me my sandwich and the cheese was literally like this it was like pencil thick i was like yeah this isn't gonna work 
remake it. And, like, uh, it takes a lot out of someone to ask you to remake it. But if you're going to spend money on food, like, you want it to taste good. Um, and then when he gave me my sandwich back, there was one extremely thin piece of cheese. Just one. <laughs> one singular thing. So I think he was doing it to, like, piss me off. Okay, so basically I ate a lettuce and tomato sandwich, and that was really great. So I need a win. That was horrible. So I'm at my favorite coffee shop. Fina's farmhouse baby it's the best it's so good and amazing so we're gonna go inside now i need a new deli because i'm done with my deli because this is like sixth time they've done this to me in the last six months and it was it's not just that they've been like fucking up all my shit and making all my sandwiches horrible we're gonna go win right win we're gonna have a win fina's always win yeah fina's always rocks my socks now that my friends is how you make bianca very happy <laughs> look at this mm 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 -mm -mm. Mix this bitch up. I will say though, my espresso, my double espresso that I got from Wawa yesterday was so good. Oh my god. I had a lot of coffee yesterday. I don't know what to do now because when you spend so much time in a cabin or like traveling, go places and we like to be out and we like to explore. And then when you're like home and like the week is about to start again because today is sunday you get hit with like this feeling of like okay i could just make it through another week and then i could get to like traveling again and doing my whole thing again like next week we're gonna go to philly and i'm really actually quite excited about it when we were in philly last time we were not staying i didn't vlog at all oh my god i didn't vlog at all philly but i posted like a long vlog on tiktok because i was trying something new we didn't stay like in the city last time we stayed by the airport but next weekend we're staying in the city so we're gonna actually be able to like do philly and like be philly again so i'm going to actually vlog you come back you're in this m mind of like okay do i get back into my routine or do i just like off the cuff kind of wing it again when you're somewhere where everything's new and you've never been there before like when we were just up at the cabin like you're going to a different town every two hours you know you're you're finding like beautiful landscapes and forests and waterfalls and just like all of this awesome stuff then when you come back to like your home base listen we live in new york city it's amazing like we have such cool things here but you know when you're from somewhere it doesn't feel as cool because like going to the city is a lot different than like climbing down a waterfall underneath a major highway well a major highway to what upstate is that's so unique it's very fun and it's not unique to people that live up there that's probably like the norm to just go hiking and to do stuff like that whereas here it's very normal to like go to a coffee shop and just like run around town and run your errands <laughs> like crave that sense of oh, i want to walk somewhere beautiful you know or i want to see something else oh i have to show you guys my haul i'm gonna do a haul at the end of this video next stop to a hotel because i had to use the bathroom and now we're gonna hop on the highway and go to jersey to go thrifting and we're kind of ending up in like jersey city hoboken so we'll see where the rest of the day takes us sorry um where's jordan all right we're in the thrift store i can't freaking find it okay i think i just fucked up royally uh, okay guys we're in the thrift store we've been here for like a hot second i actually found some cool stuff but jordan's got our cart but my stomach started hurting because i had an iced espresso <laughs> and usually i'd be like fine especially because we made a pit stop and i went to the bathroom for it but i was i just had to run out of the thrift store and go to the restaurant across the street that was fun not really. It was not fun for me, but I feel a lot better now. I don't know where Jordan. I'm still looking for him. I'm still looking for him. Oh, I see him. Ha, 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 ha. He, he, he. We've been to this chain of thrift stores, but we've never been to like this exact actual one. And the prices are kind of expensive here, which is like really fucking annoying and lame. While I was gone. All right. Stop. I think you need to get that. So it's 75 off, so is that? Are you for real? $13, what is that? 75% off, so $56, 65, it's gonna be like four bucks. Awesome, that's amazing, okay. that's amazing. A Miss May I taked up, are you looking for real? No, me. this is awesome, and this is half off. Oh, so it's five bucks. Five bucks for a Miss May I tank top, I think that's, this is a great find. My I love Wawa shirt, I, honestly, that's great. I, I, it's 25 off, so it's gonna be like, like four dollars maybe four fifty a ghost shirt, a ghost shirt. it's 15 it's 25 off. It's cream of la crepe but it's 30 dollars show them what it is you didn't show them what it is so it says savages on the front and breed carolina on the back this has 2014 written all over it that's the most 2014 shirt i've ever seen this in my damn like life that. sometimes i feel like well we don't sell things we come thrifting because we like thrifting 
but sometimes if you find something so niche, you're like, some random person's gonna get this Breathe Carolina shirt and like not have like any idea like what it even is. So sometimes it's like, you try to post it and be like, does any of my friends want this while I'm here? But anyway guys, our thrifting continued. I'm gonna cry. $12.99. This is $3.25, the Guy Fieri shirt. So, Jordan, it's $55.70. Jordan and I are now in Honey Grow. I'm sweating. I put my hair up. I'm like, look, man, I'm like a grease pit. I just stole some Sprite from the Sultan. <laughs> we ordered salads. I'm just waiting for them to be done because it was like a kiosk. I never had Honey Grow before and Just Salad is right next door. So I was like, let me see if Honey Grow is cheaper because Just Salad is really expensive. And they were, so that was fun. It's starting to get a little hot. And I'm only wearing like a little bralette under this. So I, I did the thing where like I had half of my hoodie up and half down. And I think I'm just going to fast forward you guys to a haul of all the things that I bought this weekend. excitement for the stuff that I found in the actual thrift store is unmatched. But Ghosts Like the Band, which honestly is rather new, which is kind of interesting to find in the thrift store. And the picture of this is so pretty. It's like this man playing the flute. <laughs> this man, he's like a demon scary little man. And just the coloring and the color waves of it are so nice. And we got it in a size large. I got an I Love Wawa shirt because every time I see Wawa shirts in the thrift, they're always like tie-dye or something that like I actually would not wear. I love Wawa in black, white, and red. I would wear this all the time. So I just thought this was such a fun shirt. I already washed everything too. That thrift store was like a little dusty because it was in a basement. A Breathe Carolina shirt. Are you kidding? How sick. And then I'm gonna save the best for last, even though this is kind of the best for last. Um, I got a Guy Fieri crew neck. <laughs> Welcome to Flavortown. Can't believe that we found something like this is the iconic Warped Tour tank top. And it's not a Warped Tour shirt, but it, I mean, it probably came from Warped Tour, but it is dun da da dun. A Miss May I tank top. Like, are you kidding me? And that's so sick. On the bottom, rear on the bottom, Miss May I. Doesn't this look like Warped Tour literally vomited it up? But it's cute. I like wearing these tank tops in the summer, especially going to the beach and stuff. And I used to have so many of these. I had like an Ask Alexandria one. I had a Bring Me the Horizon one. I had a Newfound Glory one. It's so many things like this from this exact era, but I donated them a long time ago or I sold them on my Poshmark a long time ago, like when you got into college and you were like, mm, I can't really wear my Warped Tour shit anymore. But now I kind of hold on to that band stuff because you realize that the cycle just keeps going and everything recycles eventually. So of course I miss my Bring Me the Horizon tank tops and my newfound glory pop punk's not dead shirts, but what could you do they're in good hands or they're in a thrift store somewhere and I'm gonna magically find them again. <laughs> I really hope that you guys like this vlog this entire weekend. I know I haven't vlogged in a while, so please let me know, like, like just be, active in the comments so i can know if you want me to keep vlogging just make sure you're subscribed if you are new here see you guys in my next video bye